So let's talk about a hidden secret of leadership. Hey, I'm Matt Hinkle with Box Arm Training. You know, I thought recently some of us are so desperate for change and progress that we don't even realize some of the keys to success are right under our nose. One of the best leadership lessons I've ever learned was learning how to be more self-aware to build better relationships. You see, if you're too busy fighting for change, oftentimes that means you're probably skipping the evaluation phase. And not just evaluating specs or training or tactics, but evaluating people. As a young firefighter, this is a really hard concept to grasp, but the more time you spend in a firehouse, the more you start to realize that change and progress comes from building relationships and group efforts. Now you may be wondering, where did coffee come into this picture? During the executive fire officer program, all kinds of different discussions come up. And one of them that really stuck with me was, how do you identify key stakeholders, where pushback may come from? And really, how do you just get the big picture? And all of this can happen right at the firehouse kitchen table. Everyone knows about those conversations that come up at the firehouse kitchen table, the ones that get deep, the ones that become impactful. And if you notice, everyone starts to lean in on those conversations. This is one of those hidden traps to fall into and also where this hidden secret comes in. Leaning in at that moment and giving your pitch for the change that you really want may fall flat on its face. Sometimes literally and physically pushing yourself back from the table can help you see the bigger picture and evaluate the room. Next time you're in this position, take advantage of it. Push back, widen your perspective, and actually look around the room. Because likely the change in progress you hope for is probably not going to happen at that moment. It happens by identifying the stakeholders in the room and building those relationships. Once you've identified the who's who in the room, your next step is to get with them afterwards and talk to them. Try to learn their perspective and don't pitch your perspective. Focus on trying to understand where their perspective comes from. This will give you the information you need and will gain trust with those to help move progress forward. This is one of the most valuable fire service leadership lessons that I've ever learned. Give it a try and maybe next time that cup of coffee could be the key to unlocking progress.